Hey, yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Nick J coming back with another video. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I make videos about college lifestyle, fashion, photography, and film. If any of that sounds interesting, I have tons of new content coming your way. But today we are talking about how to stay confident and building yourself confidence in college. As someone who has been through this process for the past two years, obviously, and just building tough skin throughout the years, I've learned to just grow my self-confidence and my self-esteem and really know who I am as a person and valuing my worth. And that's something that is very hard, especially with a lot of you guys being a little bit on the younger side. So hopefully I'm able to share some insight and some wisdom as your sage mentor. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, genuinely and wholeheartedly, literally the number one important thing about self-confidence is you have to stay true to yourself no matter what. Now, in college, it is easy to be influenced by external pressures of what your peers are doing or what you think society needs you to do. But at the end of the day, if you're not staying true to yourself and staying true to your motives and really living your fullest potential and not sacrificing any of your value or who you are as a person to succumb to societal standards, you're just going to be a way more happier person. And for me, it took me a little bit of time to really realize that number one I don't need to fit into what society thinks or what Princeton students are normally doing because I'm doing my own thing I'm breaking out of the stereotype I'm not succumbing to the mold that is you know going to the school going into banking and finance and working on Wall Street like that's just not who I am as a person and as soon as I made that realization it just helps me move along with my life so much easier knowing that I'm fulfilling things that are meaningful to me and will have a genuine impact on my long-term life that at the end of the day once again it really just doesn't matter what anyone else thinks of you you have to stay true to yourself and do what makes you feel good number two your demeanor and your mannerisms will dictate your actions now that sounds kind of complicated but it really isn't all that means is that the way you portray yourself externally is going to reflect what is happening internally meaning that if you've got negativity inside of you if you've got harmful thoughts if you just don't have a good mojo internally that's just going to reflect on your body posture your facial expressions your every day-to-day -day actions and mannerisms that's just going to portray negatively of what other people are perceiving you as and it's just going to be a more uphill battle if you just come off as you know just a negative person someone who isn't very kind or isn't open to you know meeting new people or starting new conversations that's just going to stir animosity with other people that you know upon their first impression they're just going to be like wow this guy's a douche i don't want to be friends with him and that's not going to help you build your self-confidence at all because what i mean is that it's very important for you to be self-confident and exude this almost bde energy about yourself but if you come off as a prick as a dick as a douche like that's going to drive people away and once again it's just not going to help you make friends have a genuine relationship with people and enjoy your college experience so at the end of the day what i hope you take away from this tip is that you know you just have to be really mindful of how you come off as a person and make sure that your mannerisms even though they may not reflect a certain intention don't come off that way to other people who don't know you for the first time you know just don't set off on the wrong foot and make sure that you have you know good just good mojo inside of you like that's just going to make your life easier man number three i think a very important thing for building your self-confidence is to obviously dress the way you want and you can't be giving a single fuck what anyone thinks about that i hate seeing so many people just go with the flow and wear what everyone else is wearing because it's cool or it's in trend when in reality deep down you're not a fan of that and you don't think it's cool so why buy into that you have to wear what you want and strut it with confidence and not let anyone's negative comments dictate what you do enjoy wearing now the great thing about wearing what you want is that there is so much versatility and flexibility when it comes to your outfit choices which is why i highly recommend picking up some products from our sponsor rose gold in black you guys know i've been recommending these products to you guys for months now because these are really going to just help you elevate your self-confidence to the next level if you know you're rocking some stylish jewelry or accessories like people are going to be giving you way more compliments you're just going to feel a lot better about your outfits and once again it's just going to help you step out of your comfort zone which is a big thing about building your self-confidence is that if you aren't trying new things whether it's wearing a new watch or wearing a new accessory piece and just styling your outfit a little bit differently you're going to be stuck in the same mentality of never trying anything new because you're scared of what other people are going to think but the great thing about rolls golden black is that they have such a variety of products that any type of person can find something that will fit their style and their aesthetic and can really seamlessly integrate that into their new outfits and into their new routines now if you guys have been waiting to pick up a piece now is the perfect time to do it so if you haven't already make sure to go hit that link in my description and it'll take you to a landing page where I personally picked out some of my favorite products and that I think would look great on you guys as well. Now, another huge thing is that you need to surround yourself with people who bolster your confidence and allow you to be yourself. If you surround yourself with people who aren't conducive to letting you be the best version of yourself, it's just going to negatively impact the long-term effects of every single aspect of your life because you're constantly going to be playing this fake facade of trying to be someone you're not because you're trying to hang out with a certain group of friends or liking certain music tastes or clothes because that's what they like. On the other hand, if you 
you have friends who genuinely care about you and support you in anything that you're doing, they're going to just bolster your self-confidence. You always need people that are going to hype you up. So that's why I think that it's super important to surround yourself with those types of people and friends. And you just have to weed out the fake relationships in your life. And you just have to take some deep reflection and think, is this person negatively or positively impacting my life? And if it's the former, then you need to have that difficult conversation with them and let them know that they are becoming an obstacle for you to be the best person that you can be. You know, self-confidence is a huge life lesson and a skill that just needs to be fostered over time. It's not going to happen overnight. It takes years and years of just building your tough skin and knowing who you are as a person to really just be more confident in who you are and just exude that charismatic energy that people are going to enjoy being around and once again just make you a happier person and that's all I watch for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it subscribe for more videos and as always don't stress finesse peace